A mystery is stumping the staff at the South Carolina Aquarium Sea Turtle Care Center. Several loggerheads have been losing their sight, and nobody knows why. The Turtle Hospital has just counted its eighth patient with cataracts, a young loggerhead named Sumter. Sumter came to the hospital with debilitated turtle syndrome, similar to pneumonia. She was picked up offshore by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Emaciated and covered in barnacles, she was barely alive. The hospital treated her for the pneumonia, but a few days later, veterinarian Dr. Shane Boylan was perplexed to find cataracts in both of her eyes. Deemed functionally blind by Dr. Boylan, they couldn't release Sumter back into the wild. But today, that could change. They're taking her to get cataract surgery. It's her best shot at returning to the wild. Sumter is in good hands. Few surgeons have done more cataract surgeries on sea turtles than Dr. Ann Cook. She and her staff donate their services to the turtle hospital. Certainly the most difficult issue with these guys with the cataract surgery is the anesthesia. They do not numb very well with traditional numbing agents. Um, their pupil does not dilate in surgery um, like a normal person, so we're having to modify the surgery a little bit to account for that. They'll have to monitor her heart rate carefully. A normal resting heart rate for a loggerhead is only about 30 beats per minute. Anesthesia slows it down, and anything lower than 10 could become an issue. See that big flash? It's a heartbeat. With a pulse of 13, they can begin. Start. Half a cc of lidocaine. Okay. They'll switch needles and put a 30 gauge on. Okay. This is the third cataract surgery of the day for Dr. Cook. Her regular patients, cats and dogs, are easier to work on. The positioning for the surgery is very difficult um, compared to a dog, which we can have look straight up at the microscope. In these cases, we're having to position them sideways and rotate the head um, in an awkward direction to try to get to the eye. Sea turtles rely on color vision and smell to find food. Loggerheads mostly feed on invertebrates like crustaceans and jellyfish, which require good vision to catch. Yeah. Cataracts do not go away, so these turtles would not survive in the wild without being able to see. Hopefully we're giving them a opportunity to be able to be released back in the wild. With one eye done, they quickly start on the other. This one was a little bit denser. <laughs> Dr. Cook carefully removes the cloudy inside part of the lens that causes Sumter's cataracts. And just like that, the cataract is gone. But she can't give her a lens implant the way a human might receive to correct vision because for sea turtles, none exists. When we're physically removing the cataract from the lens, we replace the lens in dogs, cats, people, horses with an intraocular lens implant to get the vision back to how it was. In turtles, we don't know what specific type of lens um, strength that they would need, especially considering that they're not just seeing on land, that they're in the water. Much remains unknown. Most importantly, why turtles are getting cataracts in the first place. Some come in with cataracts. Others, like Sumter, mysteriously develop cataracts while recovering from other injuries. 
are trying um, to determine what's the underlying cause of this cataract syndrome that we've seen in just the southeast South Carolina coast recently that hasn't been seen anywhere else in the United States. Curiously, the appearance of cataracts doesn't seem to be related to the sea turtle's age as it is in humans. Dr. Boylan suspects they could be spread by infection or toxins in the wild, but more research is needed. Today's surgery was a success. Within a few hours, Sumter will recover from anesthesia and open her eyes. She'll have more rehab ahead of her before Dr. Cook and Dr. Boylan are confident her vision is improved. For now, Sumter's future is looking a little brighter.